We wish to make this brief report with the intention of informing and not to cause any problems to any of the parties involved. As a media of communication, we have the obligation to report the problems within the community that we proudly serve. In Latino press, our disposition is to try to expose any issues so that they may be corrected and all interested parties can continue with their daily life routines in peace. The issue we will report on today is about the City of Detroit's Department of Water and Sewage and the moment they ordered to collect the rainwater from all those empty parking lots which are approximately 20,000 lost within the city. Many voices have risen in protest because this extreme measure has affected small retailers and churches as well. In our southwest area of Detroit, two groups are willing to sue the City of Detroit. This is why we wanted to gather as many opinions possible to understand more claimants. I've been charged. For the past four to five months, I've been getting the extra charges, which I think it's not fair, being that water is so expensive as it is and now that with this charge, it makes it worse. I think it's really unfair that we get this extra rain, rainwater charges, uh, reason being that I've known that other cities similar to ours don't have it. And I think we have been having issues with this water for, throughout the state. I think it's very unfair and I think long term they are going to uh, uh, cause business people to leave the city of Detroit and don't do business here. As you can see, the opinions are of discontent with the city of Detroit, which may affect the relationship between the businesses and the city. In addition, we have Mr. Irwin Danto's opinion from Danto's Furniture, a local business which has been in the area for about 50 years now. Irwin's opinion is said more with fundamentals, and that is why he is leading the group that can discuss this measure legally. Here's his opinion. About uh, it, just after uh, the year 2000, we started to receive uh, um, some enormous charges for sewage. Recently, the city uh, came up with a new system, which is based on the size of the land that the property owner might have. And in some situations, it's very, very oppressive. In the case of the guy who, the gentleman who's the family that started Central Auto Parts, notice their bill went from $1,000 per year for water services to uh, $72,000 per year because the city went from a, a system that wasn't based on the amount of water you used, but was based on the acreage. Rainwater on a terrible day. So, uh, Years ago, perhaps 15, 20 years ago, the city has began development of a sewage treatment plant. Actually, I think they have seven sewage treatment plants in the Detroit area that are able to accommodate the once in the year rain of 99 years that would overwhelm anything else. And the system is very, very expensive. And the uh, costs were not uh, uh, dealt with in the bankruptcy come two years or a year after the bankruptcy, suddenly we have these huge sewage treatment costs that are being applied as a fee, but they're really not a fee, they're on our tax bills. Uh, we've seen a lot of things happen, uh, but this is one fee, one tax that makes no sense, and uh, we believe we'll, instead of encouraging development in the city, will actually become a, a reason that people say, I don't want to open up a business in Detroit. I'd rather open it up in the suburbs where I'm not gonna be hit with this very oppressive cost. Uh, and this came as a big surprise, of course, to all the churches in the uh, city of Detroit because they all have to have parking lots in order to serve their congregants. And uh, suddenly where they weren't paying these sewage costs, now they ha are. Actually, they start in 2018. They get a year reprieve, but uh, those costs are enormous that they, nobody expected or accounted for. And that's why uh, I've joined the uh, Detroit uh, Alliance Against the Rain Tax, which is an organization that is uh, uh, seeking to uh, uh, change this tax and to something that is much more reasonable and makes good common sense. As you have heard and seen, if this goes on, the city of Detroit might possibly lose the case. We believe that before starting any legal action, both parties should meet together and perhaps come to a reasonable agreement. We hope this agreement can happen since the southwest area of Detroit is where hundreds of small businesses provide the city with economic dividends, and this is a value that should be considered. The last thing we want is for a business to feel harassed and being charged extra taxes, which will only push these businesses away from Detroit into nearby cities that will offer them better guarantees.
The flight of businesses and inhabitants is very dangerous for the city of Detroit, even more so when the city is trying to create plans to attract businesses and inhabitants. Reporting for Latino Press, Gregorio Martinez.